Hello, I'm going to show you how to make a template so that you can make your ceramic necklace or whatever it is you're making. First, what I did was I went to the computer and I decided that I wanted a triangle. So I made three sizes. Um, this size is going to go into this one and this, this size will go into that one. So I'm going to show you what I mean. You want to cut these out really neatly. Because it's your template for all of your pieces, you want to make sure that um, everything is done neatly. Otherwise, your final project won't look that good. Okay. So I'm just cutting these apart. And I'm going to cut right up to the line very carefully. Okay, so I have that one cut out really neatly. And I need to make sure that I'm not gonna leave my ceramic jewelry too thin on the edges, even though I wanna have it open so it's going to be an open triangle not a closed triangle so here's my one triangle and then here's the smaller triangle it's going to go on top of that and I want to make sure that I place that so that it's even all the way around and I'm going to glue that on You can use any kind of glue that you have. I just have rubber cement. Okay. I want to make sure that I place this on carefully. I'm gonna let that sit aside to dry for a minute and then I'm gonna cut out the inside of it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut out the second medium triangle. And one of the large ones. Now how I'm going to have these hooked together is I'm going to do it with a leather cord um, through the center. So that's why I need my center to be um, empty. Like some of the examples that we saw. So this is going to kind of be my focal point, um, is this one larger, gotta make sure that's all even, this one larger triangle is going to be my, my focal point, okay? And then this is going to make up all of my other pieces in my necklace. Alright, so then I'm just going to clean up my mess. And I'm going to lay something down on my table. I'm going to go get a self-healing mat. You can lay down a magazine, um, anything you have. I'm going to lay down one of these. Then I'm going to cut out the center using a sharp X-Acto knife. And I'm going to go slow and not press too hard. If you press too hard, 
you can tear the paper and also lose control of your um, knife and you can pull it back and hurt yourself. So be careful. Um, typically these are pretty sharp. Okay. You might need a pass a couple times pass through to get it really sharp. So there we have it. Now I have my one triangle with the inside cut out. This triangle is a little bit closer to the edge, so I'm gonna go in just on the other side of the line. I'm not going to go right on that line because I would like that to be a little bit thicker. tight to your paper. Okay. Now I'm gonna give it another pass through from the back so I can see it, but it's not all detached yet. Oops, no, you don't wanna tear it. So go back in with your knife if it's not releasing well. This is your final template, right? So you want it to be done well. This one's giving me a little grief. Mostly coming out okay, but I got a little area right here that doesn't want to release. Oh, I tore it. For that one okay so um i could repair that but since it's the very beginning of my project i'm going to just redo that okay and so then there you have it these are my templates that i'm going to go ahead and design my piece of jewelry with